In this tutorial, I'll show you how to turn an LED on and off and make it blink in Firefly. But first for comparison, I'll show you how this works in the Arduino IDE. If you just want to see Firefly in action, then skip ahead. The first thing to do is to open the Arduino IDE and head up to File, Examples, Basics, and open the Blink Sketch. So this is the basic code you typically run just to make sure your Arduino is working and we'll blink the LED. I'm just going to delete all the things that aren't critical to the code. Um, so all these are comments I'm deleting here. This is just to clear it up so we can see what's actually happening. I will make one change to this stock code, and that's to change this LED built-in, which refers to pin number 13, uh, which is the built-in LED on the Arduino. I'm going to change this to pin number 10, which is the pin my LED is connected to. So I just have to change all three of these instances to the number 10. So what the code is doing here is uh, it's got an initial setup, which tells the Arduino what's connected. In this case, it's got one output connected to pin 10, which is the LED. And then the program is in this loop. Uh, so it runs through all the code between these two curly brackets uh, indefinitely. So the first thing that's gonna happen is digital write pin 10 is gonna go to high, meaning it's going to turn on pin 10 uh, or supply a voltage to pin 10. Then it's going to wait for 1000 milliseconds, uh, one second. And then it's going to turn off pin 10 by setting it to low and then wait for one second. To upload this, uh, just head up to tools and check that you have selected the right board type. Uh, I've got an Arduino Uno. And also select that you've got the right COM port. Um, there's only one COM port on my computer and it is connected to the Arduino at the moment. If you've got more than one, you may have to try a few of them until you get the right one. To upload the code, use the right arrow at the top left. Wait for it to upload. Uh, this is what you want to see, this done uploading. And what you see is the Arduino LED turning on for a second and off for a second. To change the rate at which it blinks, uh, head back into the code and just alter this number here. This is the amount of time it turns on for and this number, the amount of time it turns off for. So if I want it to blink faster, I can have it turn on for less time and also have it turn off for less time. And then I'm gonna upload this code again. and you'll see the rate of flashing has increased. These don't have to be the same amount of time. If I want it to turn on for, let's say 3000 milliseconds, which is three seconds, and off for a brief amount of time, let's say 300 milliseconds, uh, we can try that as well. So what you're seeing is the LED turns on for three seconds, off just briefly for 300 milliseconds and then on for three seconds again. And if we want to make this a more complicated pattern, uh, we can copy this on off sequence and paste it underneath. And then I'll paste it again. So what I'll do is turn it on to uh, two short flashes and then a long flash. So I'll say on for half a second, off for half a second, on for half a second, off for half a second, and then I'll say on for two seconds, and off for half a second, and then just upload this. And you'll see it go short flash, short flash, long flash. So now I'm going to repeat this in Grasshopper and Firefly. So just close the blink sketch 
And because the Arduino now has the Blink sketch on it, I'm going to have to upload the Firefly for Marta uh, in order for it to talk to Firefly. So for my system, up to File, uh, Sketchbook, Firefly for Marta, and then just upload this code. And as long as I've got the done uploading, it should be successful. And we can close the Arduino IDE and open Rhino. And then we want to open Grasshopper by going up to the top left command and just typing Grasshopper. That's auto filled, hit enter. The first thing to do is to build the basic code to communicate to the Arduino. So head over to the Firefly tab up the top. And we will need a open port. I'm just dragging that left click and dragging onto the screen. Zooming up with my mouse. So the first thing that's needed is a Boolean toggle. Just by hovering over the open, it tells me what I need. So double left click on the canvas somewhere and type in toggle. And there it is, Boolean toggle, which is basically just an on-off switch. Connect that to open. So again, left click on the semicircle and drag out to the other semicircle and release. Uh, port, we need a number or an integer. Uh, quickest way to get a number is to just double click and type in the number you want. Uh, my COM port was COM port 4, which you saw from the Arduino ID. Type the number 4, hit enter, and it already generates a number slider with the correct number. Board number, we don't need, we're leaving it as the default. Uh, I will put a, a panel to see the message at the end. This just helps me in debugging. I'm just going to select all these and drag them over. Now the next thing I need to do to turn on an LED is a UNO right left click and drag it down. Uh, it needs a toggle uh, and I can just left click on this and drag it down to the start to share it. Or you could give it its own one, it doesn't matter. And it also needs the same port number so I'm going to share this port number as well. And it's also a good idea to put a panel on this if you need it for debugging. And then we need to turn on everything by double clicking on the toggle. So I've got the Hooray serial port is connected. And each one of these lows is uh, what my outputs are currently doing. To turn on an LED, I basically need to turn on this D pin 10, which is the pin my LED is connected to. Uh, so I'm going to double click on the screen, type in toggle, connect it to pin 10, and double click it to turn on the LED. To turn off the LED, I just double click again. And you'll notice when I do that, the corresponding pin in the panel also changes to high. So this is using a, a toggle to turn the LED on and off. Um, but there's other inputs we can use. So if I double click and type in the word button, I can just uh, left click and delete this. Connect the button. Now this one is only on while you hold on the left mouse click. So on and as soon as I let go, uh, it turns off. So it works just like a push button. The other thing I can use is the number slider, which we've seen. Uh, just type in the number one. So an on is either the number one, um, the statement true, uh, or high. So in this case, if I connect this one to pin 10, you'll see it lights up 
if I slide this back to zero, uh, it turns off. So all these are uh, equivalent inputs. And I can even use a panel to do the same thing. So if I delete this, double click and type in panel, P-A-N. Connect it to pin 10. Double click in the panel to give it a value. Say the value one. And you'll see it turns it on. If I double click and give it the value zero. And I can also do the same if I tell it true. Or false. Now to blink the LED, we need to get the blink module, double click, type in the word blink, and it's called a binary blink. And I'll just get rid of this panel by deleting it. And I'll connect this to pin number 10. This is the binary output, if I hover over. Now the blink module needs uh, a blink pattern which is an integer and it gives you a description of how it works there and it also needs a start stop toggle so just to turn it on basically uh, and you can have a repeat pattern so the first thing we need is a toggle to turn it on And a slider with the number equivalent to the milliseconds we want it to turn on and off for. So if I pick uh, 1000. And connect it. And you'll notice it's not doing anything. Uh, we need to double click the toggle and turn it on. And you can see it's flashing on for one second and off for one second. And you can see it represented here in the panel as well, changing from high to low. To make a more complicated blink pattern, similar to the Arduino sketch. So hovering over P and we'll tell you what you would need. Uh, it says for instance, a blink pattern of 100, 200, 300, 400. We'll first output zero for 100 milliseconds, then one for 200 milliseconds. So that's the first thing to note. When you add multiple uh, number sliders to this module, the first one will actually be off, and then on, and then off, then on. Uh, to add another number slider, I'm just going to highlight this and Control C for copy. Click somewhere and Control V. And I'll just get a few of these. And to connect multiple sliders to the same module node, uh, we just have to hold down shift first. A uh, little plus icon appears. Uh, left click and drag out and connect. Now the order you connect these are the order they're going to work in. So you've got to kind of keep track of which order you connected them in. So now you can see we're still flashing on for a second, off for a second, even though we've added these number sliders because they all have the same value. Now the thing to note was that the first one will output a off signal. Um, so this is different to the Arduino IDE. So what I'm going to do is shuffle these around so that the first one, which is an off signal, uh, is down at the bottom. So now we're going to have on, off, on, off, on, off. And I'll change these to the values, the same values we used in the Arduino IDE. So on for half a millisecond. Uh, you notice I can't actually select 500 exactly on this number slider, so just double click on it and type in the number you want. So 500 milliseconds on, off for 500 milliseconds, on for 500 milliseconds, off for 500 milliseconds, and then on for two seconds, 
which is 2,000 milliseconds. Uh, here you go. So you notice that it won't accept uh, more than 1,000 because that's the maximum set for this number slider. So what you need to do to change it is to right click on it, go down to values, and here you can see the maximum value set is 1,000. Double click on it, change this to 2,000, and hit confirm and commit. And now the number slider will go up to 2,000. So now you can see on for half a second, on for half a second, on for two seconds, off for one second, and then it repeats the pattern. So now you can see one of the major differences between programming in Firefly and the Arduino IDE, and that is that you don't have to upload it to the Arduino and wait for the effect. It's um, a real-time programming system. Um, so that means we can make our changes on the fly and see their effects straight away. And that concludes the tutorial. If you'd like to download the sample code from this tutorial or see more Firefly tutorials, you can find them on my website.